am the great God that has never followed day that trusted in him. My God will never allow you to be ashamed. Say better amen. The month of August will prove that God is God in your life. Before it ends, you will have a testimony to share. Say better amen. Say better amen. Okay, let's hear this morning's word. I humble myself, your name be exalted. Have your way, Abba Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I want to speak on a topic I titled Tapping into a Desired Grace. Touch your neighbor and say, Neighbor, I can't hear you. Say, Neighbor, tapping into a desired grace. Can I say something to you? Every area you are believing God that you will operate. Any level you are believing God that you are going to operate. I release it to you by spoken word and by you that will say amen by acceptance that you will get there where you are expecting to go. I didn't hear you. I said you will get there where you are expecting to go. Let your amen confirm that you are a believer. Do you believe that? Now, do you fully believe that grace can be transmitted? Let me say that again. Who believes that grace can be transmitted? Do you believe that grace can be transmitted? Some of you don't know. When you desire a particular grace and work on that, you will do what? You will receive it. So if you're not aware, I want you to be aware now. And as I'm even talking to you, you set your mind on expectation. And by the grace of God, I believe you will receive that which your heart desires. Can I hear you say a better amen? Can I hear you say a better amen? Now, when you talk about when you talk about grace being transmitted when you talk about grace being transmitted what does that mean? What it means is that someone can believe on a particular grace and that grace can actually speak for you or come to you or walk in you. Amen. Amen. Now hear this. Every man or woman has somebody he sees as a role model. Every man or woman has something he believes that, oh my God, if I can operate in this level of grace, I believe this can, could happen to me or I can get to this level. Now, and when you want to look at how do I tap into kind of grace that I desire, I have seen a lot of different teachers present tapping of grace in terms of sowing seed. And my brother, I have discovered a great way a man can tap from a grace he desires. So many of you, as I'm talking to you now, in your business, you're designed to be like a great man or something, a social person or that. You want to be like this pastor, this prophet, this, this and that. In fact, when I was running third denomination, if my mother comes to church, I see women run to her to touch her stomach. And I asked the other woman, why did you do that? He said, because I want to give back to someone like you. Amen, church? Now, I hear this. Everybody believes that I can believe in this person and it works. I can do like this person and it works. But they do not know the way they could tap into that grace and it comes to pass. And anything you want to become on earth, somebody has already become nothing on earth. Hello? There is nothing you want to become now that there is nobody in existence who has become that. There has been great apostles, there has been great prophets, there has been great uh, evangelists, there has been great businessmen. There are people who are successful businessmen without uh, fraud, who has made much money that in your business you want to be like them. There are people, prophets, that when you come you say, oh my God, how I wish I could be like this man. So anything that you want to become on earth, somebody somewhere has already become that. 
And that's why when you're coming out to say, I want to be like, I want to be like. And the Bible made it so clear. You can desire it and it will do what? It will come to you. So grace is transmittable. Grace is transmittable. And that's why when, when, you, when you follow the process of uh, the law of honor, in, in the time, in the order of Melchizedek, you will then understand that the less is blessed by the better. Take me to Hebrews 7, 7. Hebrews 7, 7. Hebrews 7, 7. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 7. Yes. It says, uh -huh. And without all contradiction, without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. Now, hear this. With all our contradiction, the less is blessed with what? Of the better. Of the what? The less is blessed. So, it is sure that by law of honor, somebody who is better of you can bless somebody who is lesser. Amen? If you read that scripture, you'll understand by the order of Melchizedek, so something happened and this person paid the tithe and this, this, this. If you now follow the principle, then you understand that the less could be blessed by the what? Better. That means somebody who is better than you can actually bless you. And for such blessings to come, there are principles you must follow. There are principles you must follow. I have discovered one miracle. That is easy when it comes to transmitting grace. That first mystery I have discovered is what I call a mystery of adding value. Somebody say adding value. I didn't hear you say adding value. I have discovered one thing that if you want to get connected to a particular grace you desire on, one of the mysteries that follows it as something you could do to begin to receive from that grace is to add value to that grace. I'll repeat it again. Is to add what? Value to that what? Every grace you're believing you want to be on and you begin to talk down on that grace, you can never receive what? You can never receive it. Hello? You're a businessman. You want to be like one of the best richest businessman in the country then anytime you see the commodity of the person or you see the product of that person instead of you to promote it you begin to talk down on it you can never do what receive it you can't get to that grace it's not possible now look at a story uh, bishop Oyudipo was one time quoted that he started selling the books of kenneth hagen hello it's a great evangelist. That his name is known as Kenneth Hagen, who is a world evangelist. Now, the Bible, uh, uh, he, he, he was quoted that he started selling the books of Kenneth Hagen. Then, anybody he was eventually uh, 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 he was privileged to meet, he always talked about Kenneth Hagen to that person. And today, today, the grace of Kenneth Hagen. Is somehow a replica to the grace of who? Bishop Oyedi. And when I have discovered what has played between adding value in the life of those you want to be like, automatically the secret for you to receive from them is to add value to what they do. And adding value sometimes is not to meet them. Some people believe it's only when you meet a particular person, then he prays for you, he lays hands on you, then the grace begins to speak. No. But when you understand the mystery of adding value to that person, even without knowing him, and because your faith is, this is what you desire, you're going to receive it, then you add value to what he carries. That thing he carries began to work in you. No wonder Matthew, Matthew chapter 6. The Bible says, seek the kingdom. Let me have that scripture. Six thirty-three, Matthew six thirty-three. Uh -huh. Say, seek ye first the kingdom of seek God. Now, nah, yeah, he said, seek ye the kingdom of God, God, uh -huh. and His righteousness, and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And everything you desire as a child of God shall be what added unto you. Now, look at this. Understand this principle now. 
if seeking the advancement of the kingdom of God can add every other blessings attached to it, then seeking the advancement of the grace you desire, we add what that grace is carrying to you. I don't know if this is a revelation to you. If seeking the kingdom of God, the Bible says seeking the kingdom and every other thing shall be added to Now, if seeking the kingdom of God, we add what is attached to the seeking of the kingdom to you. That means seeking the advancement of a grace you desire will equally add what that grace is carrying to you. That's why if you want to be in terms of the spiritual aspect of it, you want to be like a prophet, you want to be like a great apostle, and you say, I want to be like Apostle Paul, as long as you walk with him, you don't talk down on him, you do what? You add value to what he does. How do you add value? Some people praise, they said, I want to be like this man, I want to, somebody was telling me, said, said that the, one of my sons, one time, we went to approach where things were buried. So when we got there, we discovered where things were buried and we started approaching them. So we then went the other one, we went to Anna, Anambra State. As we wanted to approach it, the Lord spoke to me that the charm I was looking for here has been relocated to under a car. And I said, this thing is under this car. But we were digging here before. They said, ah, they said, Daddy, that car has parked there. We left it in the village. It has parked there for I said, we are going to find a way to push out the car. We push out the car, then we saw, we dig it and saw what was buried. And in that place, that man positioned where they were holding his position for long. After that thing, he was promoted to assistant controller of customs. Now, the young man that went with me then, now began to ask me, sir, what is the mystery of how you discover where things are buried? Somebody that I have not even sat for. I don't think if he has sat for one year that time. Then everything he wanted is how does this man see this and know this? Today he has opened his own. The other day he, he, he was chatting me. He said, Action Father, don't forget your action son. Because things are no longer working as expected. You couldn't have the patience. You couldn't come to receive the blessings. You couldn't even add value to the grace you want to operate like, then you were trying to talk down on the grace that you want to be like. There is no way you can receive such level of grace. In your working place, you're praying to be like your God. Add value to your God. Add value. Some of you, you want to be like your spiritual father. When there is program, you don't even spread the good news of his grace. You don't even tell people about it. You don't even invite people. You don't even sponsor people. I hear one young man share testimony of a man he believes in. So anytime that man is doing a program, this guy will go and bring people, chatter boss. People will come. And the man he was doing it for never knew that there is somebody somewhere who was sponsoring people only to sit down and listen to what he preaches. Before you know it, the grace of that apostle began to speak for the young man. Amen, church. Let me tell you how grace works, how miracle works, and how grace is added to you is when you add value to the grace. When you add value to the grace. Amen. So when you do not add value to any grace, it makes the grace, uh, it makes you to be separated or distant from the grace you are believing God to add to you. It takes you nothing much to get connected to a grace. But when you are praying in your house and there is nothing you are doing for that grace to be transmitted to you. My brother, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. But you need a grace to speak for you. You must have to add a value. Somebody say add a value. Add a value to the grace. The same way we want Jesus to do something for us. Anywhere you see us, we talk about who? Jesus Christ. Add a value to it. Talk about it. Bring people to it. Make people receive from it. Then that is when that grace will be speaking for you.
add a value to it. When you don't add value to the grace you believe in, sometimes that grace do not have any strong impartation to you. So when you believe in it, you have to show it. And how do you show it? Add a value to the grace. But when you began to demoral, uh, demoralize or demolish the grace to nothing, then that grace can never... You want to be like him, but you are not working to be like him. Instead of you to add value, you destroy. It can never work for you. I don't know if I'm saying something here. So for you to receive, you must learn how to add what? Value to the what? The grace. This morning, I'm not going to take your time. I'm only going to leave you with one message. And what is that message? For grace to be transmitted to you, for you to get to your expected end, always learn how to add value to the what? To the grace. Every grace you want him to speak for you, every grace you believe, let it work for you, always try to what? Add grace. Somebody was asking me a question on a particular thing. I think Sister Jibes, this one I saw you now. I remember this testimony. You know, when, after we came to your village some years back on, on liberation, on family deliverance. Now, you know, you know, you had a, an instant miracle that time. Then, Somebody, one of us, I won't mention the name of the person that came to your house that time was like, that he want to know the mystery surrounding such grace. Because when we came to our place, something happened. He, your, your uncle challenged us, right? And your, now your uncle is a native doctor. He's still alive. He's dead now, right? And that man challenged us that time. To an extent, he went to his shrine and... Uh, Carried uh, this uh, is it a fowl? Be fowl. He carried a fan fowl, and the man said that I would not walk alive. I would not leave the compound alive. Is that correct? That was what the man said. And he now provoked the grace I had. And I said, this young woman. I think that time you were living in attachment. You were, yes, you were under attachment somewhere. Nothing was working for her. And when we got there. Now, Sister Chibes told me that that man was the only person that can buy Okada. Is it Okada or Moto? That can buy, that can buy something reasonable. He was making money. Only him. No other person. Then that was when I became angry. I said, for you to challenge me, go to your shrine. In front where I'm doing prayer. Carry life power. Carry off and say I cannot live there because he saw one young boy with trousers and bedroom slippers. Kai, turn the fire setter. And I told that man, You will die. He's dead. I told him after that day, You will no longer be the person that will drive a car. Jeepers came back, door opened, she bought a car. You bought a car. After she bought a car, she moved into her own flat. And she started doing well in her business. And I think that was the time the man died. I could remember. Because after one or two years or there about. Eh? The next year, the man died. Now we came back. One of the people that went with me wanted to know the level of grace that could make you confront Satan. Is there no other level of grace than that you are born to do? You know, everybody has a mandate of what God has given to him. The only thing is that he, they wanted to be like their father, but they couldn't add value to their father. Amen. Amen, church. Hallelujah. So, now, for you to get to where you are going to, you must learn how to do what? Add what? Value, my brother. I love, I love that's why I love where God has given us as care for us. Let me share a testimony. This one, a very beautiful testimony. I went there with my wife. As we wanted to enter the street where we bought the property for church. My wife saw something. She said, what is this? I said, a shrine. He said, hey. Shrine, they closed. I said, shut up your mouth. I said, that is where God wanted us to do what? Ha. Do you know that what has always announced my ministry is only to carry 
Apart from that, two, three years ago, I said, no, they, leave me alone, make I bump pick and finish. And I done the roundup. So, we are resuming to carry shrine. I think we carry shrine, we went to your place and carry shrine two, two months ago. Huh? 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 So, uh, immediately we came back, you shared a testimony that your son that was not working, I started working. The other one started, there's one we gave prophecy here. He has not shared his testimony. He said he's afraid to, to come out uh, openly. Has he told you that he has bought a powerful jeep? He has not told you. Don't ask him till he tells you. You know, he doesn't live with him, right? You don't live with him. You live in a different place. Huh? <laughs> so, I, I, I don't talk too much. Yo. How could I come in the church and review a secret your son has not told you? But it's a testimony. He came back the next day. After that prophecy, he came to me and said that God has answered his prayer. But that he's afraid because that his former church, that when things started working for him, he came out and gave testimony and everything scattered. I say he's not like that here. <laughs> he's not like that here. He said that you beg, you can cheer. Or you, you, you can write it. I say, okay, don't worry, write it, I will read. I don't know why you should be afraid. Amen. Holy so so very soon we resume now that place we bought there is one shrine and the way they are telling us it seems that place is where the shrine that controls that area of Ijo my brother, brother God has given me the kind of food normally eat. eat. Go and mark it. The first, first seven, seven days of my arrival in Ijododo, my first focus is to take that shrine. Cook food. Eat in my house. Mbori am not And let me tell you, God always equally sets a situation that always announces you. Because I, I saw churches, 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 I keep laughing. I say, oh, this one's way full here. Who the carry this thing? Oh, first of all, buy a horn, first there. Any day they will do that. They, are, they say they do midnight uh, ororo, uh, not ororo, oro. Any day we hear the news, they want to do it. I'll put a mass emergency vigil. Barabu shakana. I now discover why God brought me. God didn't bring me to a God for because of here. God brought me to a God to show me where I'm supposed to relocate. And it and takes, takes a prophet, a prophet to, go to go under assignment to go and take off something. And let me tell you, that's the kind of thing. I went to Uromi to carry a shrine. The people that brought us, six most people were dying. It was many grandchildren in that house. When we got, they stood by far. If you watch it on my phone, on the memory card, you will shout. They stood by far. and say, Nadia. I said, we are the Nadia. Let's go now. He said, we know the enter. If you watch it, you will laugh. When we got there, if you see shrine, gasket, a young gasket, kai, things are here. We brought it and put fire on that eight. And there's one I went to a bag and then I'm to carry. If you watch that one, we when they show me the shrine, they went. That one is that every night the shrine, the demon will be walking around and it will be knocking in their door. Nobody sleeps. So everybody ran away. It was only one woman that said that she can never run away from the, his husband's house. Every, all the children. One is living in Agada. That time, I don't know where he is now. When we got to that place, they showed me where the shrine was. Then the Lord opened my eyes in some other places. They buried a big, big pot. If you watch the video, because my might be a video that... Then we began to bring them out. Because in the night, he said the thing will be walking and you'll be hearing... <laughs> Every night from two, three, nobody's everybody run away. Upstairs in the house, nobody lives. Everybody run away. The woman lives in the small boy quarter. We in the night we lock the door, and the thing we come to an instant you come and knock in the door. After God did that thing, the matching spirit stopped. My, uh, I could remember your. Your former business uh, colleague or boss, I don't know which one I'll call him. Anyone? Uh, some of you knows him. You know who? who? Father Lang. Father Lang. First act. 
Eh? He's a popular man. Now, Father Landbush, uh, eh? his private house in Lake, the same thing was happening. In the night, he will come out. Human being will stand physically, not spiritual. He will be seen and the person will be coming. Everybody will run. We went there. I think he have sold that house. Eh? But that time, when we got there, the Lord told us what to do. After we did it, the human being disappeared forever. He equally came for his testimony, but suddenly I heard he has, I think he has so many houses. You know some people now, he had to move to another one. Maybe I don't know which one he is now. So sometimes, demons can work against what you're doing. And when people see that kind of grace, they will be shouting at this man. But let me tell you, for you to get attached to such kind of grace, you have one responsibility. Learn how to add what? Value. Tell people, talk about it. Be proud about it. Contribute to it without giving him money. Contribute to it. Ah, program will be, you, you bring people, you sponsor them, you do this and all that. Then you see the grace naturally working for you without even fasting and praying. There's one popular in Ijesha here. All of you have had that testimony. Opposite Ijesha police station. That place is about how many flats, how many plots? Ijesha, Alafia, Alafia Shrine. It's a big testimony there. He didn't check out stand. We went and carried it. The Alafia Shrine is like a handbag. Iron handbag. We went and carried it like this. I came out and said, you push your wash this bag so I can put food or soup or kazian achara. Offensala. So I, I, we can start surprising the thing. I could remember the one we went for in Enugu. The boy took his shrine from the late Spiricoma. When we got there, the baby was crying by the shrine. This one of our ministers, then Chimobi, followed me to that. That's the one he saw. He was running away. He held my clothes and be running like. Like a little baby. So when we look at the grace, we understand that there are people God has called into some certain thing, thing, to do some certain things. Then, if you want to get to that, sometimes it's not even letting pray. Always learn how to add value. Even the business you want to do. You want to be like, uh, who is one of the richest uh, here, you know, that does businesses. I want to be like this. I want to be like this. Add value to what they do. And you and see you heaven. heaven. That, that grace that, 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 will be released upon you. Then you begin to walk like that. I send you home today with a new message. For you to get home and succeed. Every grace you want, add value. And may that grace come upon you. Say a better amen. I didn't hear you 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 say a better amen. Amen. Before we go, I want you to pray this prayer. Where do you want to go? Who do you want God to promote you to like he has promoted him? Bow down your head. You need a kind of grace in your life. A grace that will make men know. Because there is nothing you want to become that there is nobody who has become like that. There is nobody. There is everything you want to become. Somebody has become about. I want you to open your mouth and pray that prayer now.